If you start working with rhythm tracks, it won't be too long before you run across triplets. In my first tutorial, we learned that most modern music is a four beats to a bar affair. This rhythmic pattern is also known as 4-4 four, four time, common time and march time. In that tutorial, I described how to write a basic rhythm track. To recap, the track makes use of three percussion instruments, a bass drum, a snare drum, and a hi-hat. Since there are four beats to a bar, one, two, three, four, a note lasts in a single beat is called a quarter note, and a quarter note consists of two eighth notes. Here's the pattern. One and two and three and four and one. Most rhythm tracks consist of variations on this pattern. The following is one of them. Spot the difference. Instead of two eighth notes per beat, the hi hat is playing three. Each group of three is called a triplet. Here's an example from Motown. <laughs> This variation is more often heard in this form. Here, the first and second notes of the triplet form a single note to occupy two-thirds of the beat. Here's a common example. Musicians loosely call these variations shuffle rhythm or swing rhythm. Instead of using straight eighth notes, as in the original example, shuffle or swing rhythm uses swing eighth notes. Of the 200 or so songs the Beatles recorded, about 30 of them make use of swing eighth notes. Yellow Submarine is an example. But how do we write for them in Anvil Studio? Anvil's Piano Roll Editor has default grid settings of 4-4 four, four time and a single 16th note as the shortest note that can be entered. Let's enter some 16th notes. There are 4 to a beat and 16 to a bar. Even though I make no use of 16th notes in this tutorial, this is the grid setting I prefer to use. Although the alternative, 8th notes, works just as well and will allow more bars to be displayed. To write swing eighth notes, we need to play three notes in the length of time it takes to play two straight eighth notes. This is how it's done. We change the grid setting to eighth notes and single to triplet. If we take a close look at a single beat, we see that it has been subdivided into six parts. 
now we can play three swing eighth notes in the length of time it takes to play two straight eighth notes to click in the exact note length change the note value to a quarter single to triplet and click away And there you have it. Once entered, we can return to our original grid setting. One more thing. If you encounter a piece of music with the following direction at the beginning, you're being instructed to play swing eighth notes instead of straight eighth notes. The music is easier to read this way. Oh, darling.